In NX11, the new iRay Plus physically based rendering engine makes photorealistic rendering even easier to use. Let's take a look at it by going through an image production workflow. Start by going to the Render tab that opens the Render ribbon, but go directly to the Studio task to do your rendering setup. When you enter the Studio task, the Advanced Studio display is set for you automatically, as is a default scene, this gray studio scene, with image-based lighting and a base plane. A new set of system materials is provided for you based on iRay Plus. Just drag and drop the materials onto your part, or you can also select geometry and then apply the materials. At any point, you can launch Raytrace Studio to see the photorealistic version of your display. Notice that by default, the render mode is set to silver, and this gives you a good trade-off between quality and performance to start with. You can continue applying materials, and notice that you apply the material once and it's displayed in both Advanced Studio and Raytrace Studio. The advantage of iRay Plus physically based rendering is that the materials look right, right out of the box, and that makes it easier to use. Materials can be applied to bodies. To apply a material to a face, change the selection filter to face, select the face, select the material to apply it. One advantage of using the Studio task is that it provides you with operations specific to rendering setup. One example of this is select all objects with this material available on the object pop-up. Here we're swapping the red plastic with the blue plastic. Selected once, but applied to all the objects on which the red plastic had been applied. Important to note that you can finish Studio to exit the Studio task at any point, and Advanced Studio and Raytrace Studio displays are still available to you in modeling and other applications. Let's continue our image production workflow and open a part that's been fully detailed. In Raytree Studio, the display mode is set to gold, which is the highest interactive mode. It gives you the best quality and is still interactive. To do the rendering setup, we go to Raytree Studio Editor. Notice the new remote render capability. For static image setup, you can pick the file format, you can render to window size or bigger than window, and you can set a time limit. Hit the Start Shade button to render your image at the highest quality level. You control the duration by either waiting for the time limit or hitting pause. Save the image to a file, specifying the file path and name, and hit OK to save the file. Hit the Erase button to return to the dynamic progressive rendering. And that's it for an image production workflow using NX11 iRay Plus physically based rendering.